and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel according to John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stones water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water and had become wine and did not know where it came from, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus said to him, Jesus did this, the first of his signs in Cana, Galilee, and revealed his glory. And his disciples believed in him. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, we heard in the scripture reading the wedding feast of Cana where Mary and Jesus were invited and Jesus performs first miracle as described by John the Evangelist. I would like to highlight one of the vibrant features of Christian life and consecrated life and that is listen to Jesus. Perhaps one of the hardest things to do in life is to listen. Are you a good listener? Do you know how to listen? What do you understand the word listening to Jesus? Is it just listening through our ears or something more? Most likely, this is a struggle for you since it is a struggle for most people. Listening is more than hearing. Listening implies that one hears and comprehends. Listening to Jesus means not merely hearing the word by our senses but doing exactly whatever Jesus says. Listening to Jesus means believing in Jesus totally. Listening to Jesus also mean holding fast to Jesus in all the situations. Mother of Jesus says to the servants, do whatever he tells you. And in the Old Testament, there is a similar situation in the book of Exodus where the people of Israel declare to Moses and they are willing to do all that God has 
said and carry out all the command given by the Lord. Exodus chapter 19 and chapter 24. Similarly, Mary prompts the servants to obey and the word of Jesus, her son, he who is son of God. In this way, the Mary shows herself to be the mother of those who are faithful, that is, of those who fulfill the commands of Christ. In this event, at the wedding of Feast of Cana, Mary helps to bring about a birth of faith in the hearts of men and women. Mary shows as a mediator between Jesus and the servants. She shows her full confidence in the son and consequently invites the servants to take on her own attitude. Do whatever he says for his past. For his part, Jesus completes his first sign because he is asked to do by his mother. Even today, Mother Mary says to us, do whatever Jesus tells you. Indeed, at Cana, he, the servants obeyed and there was a miracle. If you and I obey Jesus, then there will be no shortage of anything in our life. Dear friends, let's seek the help of Blessed Virgin Mary to continue on, to inspire us, prompt us and motivate us so that we may always listen and carry out the words spoken by Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.